Beverly and Todd with the new law, recess can account for up to 15% of total instructional time. Now, Michael Anderson with the York County School Board says that frees up 14 additional minutes for kids there. Extra time he believes could make a big difference. Go outside and play, a phrase a lot of parents are familiar with and one that's very important to Melissa James. With two kids in a York County Elementary School, she wants them to get out more during the day. I would like to see my children be able to have a more well-rounded experience at school and not just have everything be so focused on sitting in a seat and looking at books. Now with the passing of a new state law this year, there's a chance. School board member Michael Anderson is on board. He says the law allows recess to count as part of the instructional day. To account for up to 15% of the instructional instructional hours. That's going to equal to about 34 minutes a day of recess. So York County currently has a 120 minute session. He's hoping to see the school division set aside two blocks of unstructured recess time per day for elementary students, one in the morning and another in the afternoon. The studies have shown that uh, increased recess times increase the social, physical, uh, cognitive and emotional skills of the children. Helping students to learn more. School board chair James Richardson tells me this isn't something the school board has specifically discussed, but the superintendent is planning to form a committee of parents, teachers, and administrators to look into it. Anderson is planning his own Q&A sessions with parents this week. So I decided to jump in and get behind it and um, because I believe in it. Some Virginia school divisions are already making moves on this. Prince William County just decided to double its recess times from 15 minutes to 30. Now it remains to be seen if schools in Hampton Roads can carve out more time for students here. They have a lot of really engaging interactive activities, but it's still structured time. They need to be playing, they need to be leading their own play. Now the first of Anderson's two Q&A sessions is tomorrow night at Tab Library. We reached out to other area school divisions about the possibility of more recess. Some said they weren't planning on it. Others said no decisions just yet. You can see their responses in the story at WTKR.com. Anthony Sabella, News 3.